Hey babes, I'm back. I have Brayden here. Oh my gosh, I thought he moved. Um, <laughs> I have Brayden here and let's see, let me put this little light down. Ooh. Put this light down on him a little bit more. Um, it's really nice sometime when I can really like capture their color a little bit more because as you can see that blanket that he's laying on is a cream color and that is really what it is sometime though in pictures especially if I use the flash that blanket will appear white but as you can see the crib is white and the blanket is a cream color so that means his coloring is pretty much pretty accurate um yeah um i did i do notice like facebook and stuff like that like a lot of the little deep fine details might not show up but for overall it does what it needs to do yeah um i like i like these my cuddle babies let me show you guys why i love my cuddle babies more than anything okay here we go. All right. So, one, he's a thumb sucker. He's bald. No, no secret there. Most of my babies are bald. Um, all right. Little hat on. But it's like, you can do so much with them. And I just love that. And I talk about that all the time. It's just, for me, the posing is endless with them. I was looking at a prototype. Not a prototype, sorry, not a prototype. I was looking at an artist photo. Oh, my God. And it was so beautiful. And the baby was so beautiful. And she looked so real. Or he. Was it he or she? I can't remember now. Um... I think it was a she and she looked so real but what I noticed is that the the artist had not assembled the baby truthfully um, the the limbs was not attached to the body and so therefore the posing was really realistic and perfectly placed with clothes on and it appeared as if this baby was in this such a beautiful baby natural baby pose and but the sad part about that is is that someone will buy that doll and try to recreate that pose and can't do it <laughs> once the baby is assembled and then they will wonder why they couldn't do it and just think that they are slow or incompetent or this artist is just so amazing that they could magically do something that they couldn't but it's all because really in all actuality that that artist had that baby not put together and so therefore it created this false illusion that this baby was so superposable in that way um and don't get me wrong don't get me wrong um it's photography, it's advertisement. To an extent, is nothing wrong with that. Um, but at the same time, I don't know. You know, it depends on the, the buyer. If the buyer is mostly looking at the way the baby poses and then can't do it. <laughs> um, well, I guess she could, she just need to take the baby apart, right? Or if the the art if the buyer is mostly looking at the art of the baby, which is usually what they're looking at anyway, so it's like you could look at it from two angles. You could look at it like, oh, that's deceptive, or you could look at it as that's great photography, great marketing, and the person it just drew the person in to really look at the the doll itself and look at the artwork, and they fell in love with the artwork and they don't care. If the baby can never get back into that pose, they just want 
the realism of the painting and the rooting and of that baby. So, um, you know, you can look at it from both ways. But anyway, um, I just say all that to say that, you know, even with reborns and partial silicones, they cannot do what a cuddle baby can do. And I love it. I love it for me. I love it for those that love posing babies. It's just, I'm telling you, it's like a, a the it's like the best of all the best worlds. <laughs> it's like the best thing you could they could have come up with. Um, now, as an artist, uh, it's not as uh, lucrative for me because I don't paint my babies in one, two, three flash. Um, yeah, it's very lucrative for those that can paint a cuddle baby in a day or two days or three days even um, because they can keep going back, back, back and they're going to make even more so than they would have painting a full body. But for me, someone that takes forever <laughs> to paint just one head a lot of times, I have painted one in like three days or a couple days. You know, I have done it before, but for for the most part, it takes me a lot of, and then even then it's like not sleeping, working around the clock. Um, it's not worth it for me uh, to do it, but overall, but I, I love them for me, for my personal collection. I really, really do. I, I do. I love it. Um, I love holding them. I love everything about them. This baby is so amazing. I It's so funny. Like, I always say this. I can't believe that. I was just like, no, I'm not painting that sculpt. I don't want it. And I'm just so in love with him. I really am. I mean, he is definitely one of my favorite babies. Um, he's my favorite as paint for painting. And I love his face. I love his hands. Um, his feet. I love the painting on them. The sculpt in itself is okay. It's not nothing like major. You know what I mean? But it's realistic. So overall, I love the, the, the kit itself. Um, but I love how he turned out. He's just full of personality, and I don't have many awake babies in my collection. So when I get a awake baby and I love it, that one is special. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But, well, you know what? Most of my bigger babies, of course, are awake, but they're vinyl. But anyway, nevertheless, I just... Thought I'd pop on and share Brayden and say, look how flexible I am. I tease you. I moved that light and is casting a shadow over him in certain spots. See that, that darkness coming across his face? That's from the shadow of the light. But when I pull it out. And that, again, is why sometimes we don't see everything exactly how it is in person and you'll never be able to see it. I don't care how good your camera is, how good your lighting is. Till you get that baby in your arms and in your hands, it just you you just don't know. You don't know if it's better, if it's worse, if it's this close to the same. You know, you just don't know with you know these these dolls um until you get them. But anyway, that is all we got, right Brayden? Let me put him in this, my little pose. <laughs> my sweet baby. He's been wearing this little outfit for a little, for a mm, couple, maybe, maybe two weeks or maybe, I don't know. I can't remember when I changed him in this. But, and then I like adjust his little stuff in. And then I put the, uh, the wafers in them. Oh my God. And they just smell so good. That's the other thing. Like you can't really put a scent in your silicone babies, but the full bodies. But they they are coming out with something that you could put it in the paint, or the the pores can put it in the pore. Um, they, I mean, they it's not coming out. It's been out. It's been something that's. But they're making it a thing now, um, where you can actually buy it, and 
the artist can paint with it or um, the pour can pour it in there and it smells like baby powder, baby powder scent. Um, I am not one to want to try it, <laughs> not just yet, uh, but it did pique my interest. Like I would buy like one that's already poured in it and test it, but you know what I mean? To see how it go, but I, I wouldn't want to be the one to mix it in my paint. I don't I don't like mixing nothing in my paint because I'm 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 new to this. I can't I can't take the, the risk. But anyway, that is it guys. I I truly hope you guys are having a blessed day. Whenever this video is uploaded, I hope that you are thinking with your most positive thoughts and share your love and spread kindness wherever you can. That's all folks.